And I said, you know, what a better time to just ignore every responsibility, don't talk to anyone, just take your bike out and go sit and watch the sunset. And every time I do a cool video about something I care about, a crow shows up. It's come to my attention that a lot of people have been thinking about their life in many ways in this past year, as have I. And uh, someone I'm close with just said to me that they're ashamed of themselves because of the car that they drive. And I was like, why? You made the decision to drive a car that was not a showpiece. And they're like, well, you know, I just, I feel bad. And I'm like, why? Your opinion doesn't matter any more or less depending on what you drive. I mean, sure, my opinion matters on YouTube a little bit because of what I ride, but I could have done this with any bike. What I'm trying to say is this person was dealing with something and it wasn't an exterior thing. It was something inside of themselves. I've felt with similar, I have, fought over similar things inside of myself too, thinking that, oh, I need to be a certain way after college, that I need to uh, get a certain job so I can get uh, to a million dollars before age 30 or else, uh, uh, I, I don't know, I'm not 30, so I still have time, but I have recently discovered that anytime uh, myself or people around me think about their finances in a way that uh, they need to go out and be hungry for it and like every day in, day in day out you have to just think about the dollar and that's the see, be all end all and uh, their health starts to, to decline either physically or mentally for me it usually declines physically because it'll start to just make things feel weird like my body will just do weird things first of all if you're dealing with that instead of doing that consider trying this saying that your money will come to you because money is attracted to you. It's okay to think that way. There's nothing wrong with it. You can still work just as hard. Just don't put that kind of extra pressure on yourself because really what you're doing is creating a stress that doesn't actually do anything for you. What I mean is you can work just as hard with and without the stress. But the thing is, if you're stressed, you are not at your optimal level. What's the important thing here? Don't be stressed. So that man in the cutlass just came up to me and was like, hey, uh, your headlight's on. That cutlass right there, I gotta fix that. No, I gotta fix that or else I'm gonna feel ugly and that's a problem, right? That's, that's, that's not a problem. This video is obviously not a bike themed video. Um, this is a video about having the right attitude about life. And uh, I'm partially doing this for myself too because I was finding myself today having not the right attitude. I found myself sitting at home. I got a text back from a man who wants to uh, have me work at his bar when it's opening up soon. And that was exciting, but just there's just something that wasn't sitting right with me today. And I'm just like sitting here, I'm like, is this what I really want? Or do I want a different position? Uh, what if I don't get the job that I'm looking for? Uh, what if the money's not good enough? Like the money was such a big thing in my head, I was making a huge problem out of it. And my health was like feeling off today. Like my back felt tight and my fingers were tingling. Like these are, you know, anyone that's had anxiety will probably recognize some of these symptoms um, or stress, I should say. It's not exactly anxiety because I wasn't crippled. Like I was still able to completely do stuff. But at some point, what happened was that I felt like I didn't want to do anything. That person has their studded snow tires on and I'm on my motorcycle. I was creating a problem in my mind and I found myself uh, in a position where I all of a sudden said to uh, a friend of mine that I was talking with, I was like, I'm sad. And they're like, hey, you want to talk later? I was like, maybe, but deep down I knew that that wasn't really what I needed. So I looked outside and I I saw this beautiful sunset and I said, you know, what a better time to just ignore every responsibility, don't talk to anyone, just take your bike out and go sit with your baby and watch the sunset. It's very important to do that and it's something that I struggle with. I don't do it enough. I don't get out enough 
uh, or I haven't been getting out enough since the pandemic started. And I'm sure there's many other people that are in the same situation, but the important thing is to remember. It's not that you have to do it every day. It's not like you have to get up and be like, ah, oh, right, I have to go enjoy life or else don't make problems for yourself. There's no problem. I was thinking to myself earlier today about my problems and then I realized, hold on. Remember what the, the greatest role models I've had in my life have taught me. There is no problem. And having a no problem attitude is very important to maintaining your balance. Because if you have your balance, you're powerful. That's it. I mean, you are powerful in anything you do. In cooking, in telling your wife that you love her, in making new friends, in writing books, in looking at the stars and being able to name them. Or the power to just be deliberate with your time and make the decision to take your bike out to a high up place and just enjoy the earth around you. Those of you that have been subscribed for a while will recognize this location. You, some of you might be bored of looking at it, but how can, how, how can you be bored of looking at this? Hope you guys like my long hair. This is my uh, pandemic hair that I've been growing out since the start of it. Someone asked me when I'm going to cut it, and I said, oh, when the pandemic ends. I said that over a year ago. And I didn't realize how long this was going to last. But anyways, when this is all over, I'm going to donate it. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have links in the description below. I have links on my channel for my link tree. Peace out. Like, leave your comments.